Hey everybody, so uh, I'm just getting back from shooting uh, Lee and uh, good match. They're new, they're new to hosting uh, USPSA and they're, they're working some kinks out but they're doing a good job here. They're really enthusiastic about it which is good. Any, any club is jumping into USPSA is great. Uh, beautiful grounds, beautiful clubs. So if you follow my videos you know that I recently purchased uh, a used 2011. And I love it. It's fun. I've been dry firing like crazy. I put up a video. I put up a video with that, like kind of killing the part times. One mile. I, I mean, I named her Lucille. So Lucille went full auto. I can only assume that it's uh, some some problem with the sear. Maybe it was filed down too much, but uh, she definitely went full auto. I didn't bring my backup gun. I got through about three stages of the match, and I'm doing two of classifiers, which. I was really gaming up because they had some hoser stages, so I was really looking forward to the hoser stages. I got to one, and I did well, but uh, you'll see, I'll put the video of, of uh, the one video I have of her going burp. I mean, other than that, she's she's also shooting very low on my uh, double tap, so if I do, um, if I do a controlled pair, my second shot is, uh, it's real low, so it's not coming back to zero. Um, I might be oversprung. That's the first place I'm going to look is the recoil springs. I'm going to take it. I'm at 11 pounds right now, but I'm at a full length 11 pounds. So I might go into the spring kit that came with it and go because those were all shorter. I'm figuring the 2011 thing out. Um, like these guys know, I put in an order for a big 2011, a big name one. I got Lucille so I could build some muscle memory and get some familiarization behind it. It's been doing great for that. I'm actually like, the amount of progress I made with Lucille is, is great. Anyways. So I'm, I'm going to start with the recoil spring as far as the shooting low because um, I'm getting Charlie's on hits that should be A's. So as far as the gun mechanically, those two issues uh, kind of arose and they need to be addressed before I could use her any further. I don't really want to go back. I'm enjoying the 2011. I'm enjoying it. It's a great shooting platform. Like It is such a fast gun by itself um, and kind of intuitive. Like I said, I'm surprised on how quick I took to it. And I don't want to go back to the 320. 320 is amazing gun. I've been shooting it for the past three years. I love the 320. Highly customizable. Nothing but great things to say about it. But I'm kind of into the 2011 right now. And I got the big guys around the corner. It'll be here hopefully in a couple weeks. But in the meantime, I'm just going to stick on Lucille. It's not like there's a, a, a ton of matches to shoot anyways with uh, things being the way they are. So I think I'm going to work the kinks out of Lucille. Try to get her running as good as I can. Um, not pour any more money into her. I poured a little bit of money into her besides buying her, just trying to trick her out the way I like. And again, when she did ran, she ran great. There was no malfunctions, no jams, nothing like that. It's just she kind of started doing some three round bursts on me, and I guess that's frowned upon. All right, so getting to the actual match, the actual stages I did get to shoot. Two classifiers at the beginning, whiffed the first one. I knew I was gonna, and I, I'm gonna go. I can hear Steve Anderson uh, lecturing me. You know, in my head right now about, uh, you know, you went in there knowing you're going to fuck it up, so you fucked it up. And he's exactly right. I did. It was just, it was a classifier and it started with, uh, you know, the freestyle position then reload, uh, Virginia count, one on each target. It was a four target array. Real, then uh, holster up, then you come out, freestyle, reload, one hand, uh, one hand strong hand, freeze, you know, reload, come out, then left a uh, weak hand one a piece so is it it was more complicated it's when you got something like that it's it's not exactly like you got so much muscle memory built up around two shots two shots two shots and how we see how every other stage is in USPSA so when they throw that curveball at you it's just whoosh. so that was the first uh, second classifier was your basic fare uh, two paper targets and then like five or six steel targets engage the paper reload engage the steel or vice versa however you uh, choose coming from the uh, hands above shoulder finally got to the third stage for us and it was finally an actual course and I was excited for it. It, it was tricky with 180 so if you if you notice in the video I don't try uh, I don't rush as much as I could just because I'm trying to pay attention. There's one particular spot where it would be very easy to break the 180. So there's a little there's a little point where I go to a, just a straight stand where I, I could have moved through it but it was in the in the name of not breaking the 180. But uh, as far as my performance went like I whiffed the first one, knew I was going to do it, but I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, again, I'm operating to the best of my skill level for what I have. I can't ask, 
I can't ask myself to perform any better or faster than what I'm doing in dry fire and the, the amount of work I'm putting in. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely going through my movement. It's definitely, definitely way better. Uh, it's, it's a shame that, for, that the Lucille went down because there was one stage that the stage plan I had was perfect. I knew all my stop points, all my goal points. I had all my points set up where I'm gonna run from, where I'm gonna like shoot and move from. I, I, and it was, I had it in my head already. My visualization, my visualization of the stage was gonna burn through. It was their first stage. And oh, I wish we would've started on that one. That's that's my only regret for today. That's it, other than that. I shot great, I moved great. I, I shot on the move when I need to shoot on the move. And when I need to stop, I stop. Um, there's still some work to do as far as getting in and out of positions, as far as my uh, center of balance and being too erect, but I'm working on that. And that stage that I had video wasn't wasn't going to be the best, you know, I wasn't going to have the best performance and able to highlight that stuff. The next two stages, especially stage one, I was really going to get to like, I really had those things programmed into my stage plan. So it is what it is. I had a great time. Lee was awesome. They felt they felt awful about disqualifying me. They offered to like let me use their guns if it fit in my hole. So I had. The married to the, um, the actual staff like offering to see if uh, I could use their guns or so I mean I it's, it's growing pains this is what happens when you buy a used a used gun it's the growing pains which I'm again I'm happy for too like I said I'm figuring this out when I get my big expensive gun in the mail I already have all this time behind Lucille so it I mean I take today as a total win I had a great time I shot good I shot great my gun didn't work amazing out of 100% it probably works 70% but when it did work it worked nice which gives me a little window to the potential of Lucille uh, still gonna use her for uh, after I get her work and I'm still gonna like I said I'm still gonna use her for a uh, for shooting matches I don't want to I just don't want to go back to the 320 I'm enjoying it like the 2011 is the next step in my journey uh, and that's just how I'm gonna roll from now on so me and broken ass Lucille if you made it this far I want to thank you for putting up with my atrocious New England accent. Thanks for watching these videos. Okay, starting off with this review, a uh, problem I had in my last match, the uh, Munson match, was um, I didn't have a, a make ready procedure, I didn't have a way that I kept everything consistent from my dry fire to my live fire to my matches, and I've, I've since then went back to the forge and I hammered that out, and I have a specific make ready procedure. Um, another issue I had on the start, it was a minor issue, but it's something to take note of and fix in the future, is... So, I'm trying to visualize the whole stage, and I'm, I'm feeling rushed, and I think if I would instead, I already did all my visualization up to this point, and I think from now on I'm going to visualize just my draw again, a speedy draw out there, because this draw is all right, but it's it's over a second, I can tell. I don't have it on the timer, but I can tell just by looking at it, it's not my best, and I'm not thinking about the draw because I'm trying to visualize the whole stage. So, for me, the draw is not fully subconscious yet, especially since I switched platforms to the 2011. But that's definitely uh, going back to dry fire and readdressing that. So I draw on these two. And right there, you heard that. That was my 2011 um, having a little bit of a hiccup. A little bit of a three-round burst there. This, uh, I had to, I didn't get to shoot the full match because I didn't bring my backup gun and I couldn't continue on with the 2011. So my turn was a little slow, but I turned, identified the target. And I did a very good job of shooting. You can't see them over there, but if I was to change anything about the stage, it'd be right about here. So I move on and I stop here because from this point, you can see this whole section of targets and you can basically engage them all. So it wasn't a bad idea to stop there, but I think I stayed there too long. I could have, I believe if I stepped back a little bit or if I would have engaged earlier, Another reason I stop here because the target that's right about here is uh, if you engage him the wrong way, you're going to break the 180. He's right there on the line. So two reasons to stop there was one, because you had that whole field there and you could make uh, you could post up and hit all those targets. And two, 
was because the that 180 target was dangerous. Now that reload, um, if I could do it over again, I wouldn't have done a standard reload there. If I could do it over again, I would have just waited to the end because I had one target at the end where I could have did a speed reload. That's another thing. Uh, this reload I'm, I'm doing now is kind of a subconscious. It's slow. I have a dry fire video. Like in dry fire, I can knock the reloads in under a second. For some reason here, I didn't visualize. When I was doing my visualization of the stages, I didn't visualize doing a, a faster reload. And that's something I learned. You really, you literally have to visualize everything. So this reload, it could be longer than what it is. And also the, the placement is real poor. So I come into this position good. I come in shooting, which is good shooting on the move. This this target right here, the tuxedo, and then there's that steel back there. Overall, this was a great run. I've had a lot of improvement on my movement. Um, I didn't get to shoot. There was another stage there that was really movement heavy. I was really excited to to shoot it because it would have highlighted what I've been practicing, but. It still, it still was a good stage. Like I said, a lot of progress with my movement. Um, a little questionable on when I posted up. I mean, on top of posting up, I could have shot that a lot faster. I could have saved that reload. The problem is I'm just learning this. Uh, the 2011 is a new plat uh, platform for me, and I'm using MBX magazines that have already been tuned and messed with other people. So what I've learned in the stage prior to this one is I can't fill the magazines up to 20. So my magazines, just to be safe, I haven't filled up to like 16, 17. Just so I, if I have to slam a speed reload in there, it doesn't bounce back out on me. Learned that the hard way. But everything turned out, um, I mean, decent. Like I said, movement's a lot better. I float a lot better through the stage. If it wasn't for me posting up, the, flo the flow through the stage would have been a, a lot smoother. That was the only kind of hiccup, but everything else went good. Again, big gains on movement. Uh, still needs a lot of work. My entries, if you notice... My entry is still very erect. And we can go back to most of them. And again, see, very erect. I could have my center of balance a lot lower than that. But, firing the target, shooting on the move, all that's good. Can't get mad at that.